Hey everybody, if you've looked at the Chevron Ecuador lawsuit issue and then the Occupy movement issue and said that, okay, Ecuador represents the 1% and Chevron represents 99%, you would actually be correct. Now, you would actually say, hey, wait a minute, isn't that the reverse? No, it's not. And I'll tell you why. Because Ecuador and its president, Rafael Correa, have managed to take petrodollars and narcodollars and siphon them for their own needs. Even in the case of the Chevron lawsuit, which was a fraud, they are on record as having said that they were going to make sure that money went to, in some cases, alleged family members of President Korea himself. Who's left out in all this? The indigenous people of Ecuador, the Stephen Donziger, the lead attorney in all this, suing Chevron, claimed he was trying to help. But in point of fact, he was actually in bed with the president of Ecuador. Not actually in bed, but you know, working with him. So, forget all that. Now, those of you running around saying, hey, look, we won because of this Ecuador victory. Hey, that victory was a sham. It was in an Ecuador court known to be corrupt, with judges known to be corrupt. So forget it. What will come out of this is justice. And why do I rail against this? Why do I continue to rail against what Ecuador has done? Because Americans have this romanticized idea that the third world is being you know, harmed and, and raped by us and everything. When you have people there that are more corrupt than anyone over here and will kill other people to maintain it. And a president in Ecuador who will actually block press freedoms and sue column, columnists for up to $80 million. And if you don't believe that, check it yourself. Check it out, get educated, and get smart.